is uh, required for the following DIY is some water, a container to use it as candle, some cotton for making a wick, a pair of scissors, a safety pin, paintbrush, a plastic cup, and some glitter which I didn't show it here. So for this you need a bowl or any glass container and you need some water and you need to pour it down inside the bowl. Once that is done, you need your pair of scissors and a plastic cup and you need to cut a circle out of it. The circle doesn't need to be perfect, um, it just needs to be a rough circle. If you don't have a plastic cup, it's alright, you can use an OECG sheet or any regular plastic sheet which is thick enough so that it can hold the candle wick. I didn't have an OECG sheet so I used a plastic cup. These are some alternators, you can use any of these as per your convenience. I'm speeding up the process here because this process was really boring to me as well. So it took a lot of time and I'm not here to bore you guys up. So once the cutting process is done, it should look something like this. In the next process, we are going to make the candle wick. So for that, you need some cotton and you're going to uh, take a few sections from it and then you're going to roll it down into your palms and make it long and uh, slightly thick. So uh, if you have these uh, ready-made candle wicks at your home, it's fine. I had really thin ones which uh, I felt is not uh, suitable enough to use it in the plastic so I made one for myself but if you have it in your home already you don't need this and um, once you made the candle wick you're gonna uh, insert it inside the plastic sheet so for that you need to make a hole uh, inside the plastic and then insert the cotton wick as shown once that is done you're gonna take scissors and you're gonna trim the upper and lower part of the wick once the whole process of this plastic and wick thing is done, your wick holder and the wick should look something like this. Now you need to bring your watercolors into the scene and you need to, you know, kind of take any favorite color of yours and then mix it into the water as shown. So you need a lot of color, um, but it depends if the container is colored like uh, that of mine then obviously you'll need a lot of color but if you have a very transparent non-colored uh, container then a little color would obviously do now take a lamp oil and pour it on top of the water if you don't have a lamp oil then obviously you can use any other oil like uh, sesame oil or mustard oil i used sesame oil here because i didn't have a lamp oil but uh, it is recommended from my side as well that you use a lamp oil here Next, take some glitter and sprinkle it on top of the water. You can use any color of glitter as per your choice. I'm using blue color because I mixed in uh, blue color inside the water, but it's up to you. Next, you're gonna need uh, something to mix the glitter up with the water. I'm using the back of the paintbrush. You can use anything as per your choice. Um, there's nothing much to explain here actually. So. <laughs> In the next step, place the candle wick on top of the water really carefully and with great patience because sometimes when you place it on top of the water, it sinks inside it. So be really careful and very patient because I get it, it's really frustrating and trust me, you're not alone. I was frustrated too. Now your water candle is ready for the final showdown. Let's wait for the night, light the candle up and see the magic. And with this our video comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with your family, friends and loved ones and subscribe to my channel if you want to. And click the bell icon too just in case if you're doing it. And I hope 
you guys have a great year ahead happy new year 2024 to you and your family members and your friends and um i hope the next year brings us a lot of joy happiness and achievements also good people around and we all stay happy and healthy and uh yes i was absent on this channel for a really long time due to many good reasons which i'll let you know in the upcoming videos just in case if i upload any because i'm very inconsistent anyways so um until next time peace bye bye and also make sure you watch the videos in the outro just in case you know engagement <laughs>